Hi, I'm Liam Havercourt. I'm year 13 at Sacred Heart College and I'm here today to find out about careers in dentistry. The South Island city of Dunedin is the only place in New Zealand where students can train to become a dentist. Dr Alison Rich is going to show Liam around. I'm Alison. So we have the Bachelor of Dental Surgery, which is the five-year program. Um, and at the end of that, the graduates go out into the community as dental practitioners. Liam is going to get a taste of some of the things that he would cover during the Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Liam's first challenge is learning to work with mirrors. Make a wee square of those sticks using the mirrors. They're pretty hard, eh? That's not really a square, Liam. OK, so we'll go over to the um, pods now and um, have a look in the, in the mouth. We try and get you introduced to the clinical skills in here as soon as possible, but it's really towards the end of the second year. And in second year, you're counting the teeth and assessing the gum health and so forth. But as you move through into third year, in fourth year, you do more advanced things on each other, like give each other injections and oh, so really? forth. <laughs> well, I've been here for four years now, but it's been a, it's been a great journey. Um, basically, with dentistry you get some great people skills. The first year of health size is a bit tricky but once you get in it's sort of like a big family and um, everyone looks after you. We do need to keep training dentists. Students do find employment very rapidly in community clinics or in private practices. Liam is about to meet Grayland dentist Usha Nashai. I'm the dentist here and I own the practice. Did you train in Otago? Yes I did. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Uh, it was fantastic. It's, it's such an important part of my life. Yeah. I love being a dentist, yeah. yes. But it's important to realise that even after they're qualified, a dentist must do ongoing training. So we run a whole lot of uh, continuing dental education events. Uh, we provide the community with uh, grants to promote oral health. Uh, we're the major funder of dental research here in New Zealand. It's no doubt that dentistry is a career that you can enter at the age of your early 20s and spend your entire working life. And there's no doubt that you can take other directions. You, you, you learn a, a range of skills um, within the program that allow you to do other things as well. When it comes to dental careers, the five-year degree is not the only option. There's also the Bachelor of Health Science in Oral Health which can be studied here at AUT University on Auckland's North Shore. This degree does not lead to being a dentist. It's a three-year degree leading to being a dental hygienist and dental therapist. Hi, Hi you I'm Liam. Yeah. I'm Shana. Hi Shana. So the school dental nurse is now known as the dental therapist. The dual qualification means that graduates from our course can now um, graduate and um, register with the Dental Council of New Zealand both as dental hygienists and dental therapists. Um, the course is integrated in terms of the teaching and that means that we don't take a specific dental hygiene or dental therapy focus, but everything is integrated so that the graduate that comes out is competent in both scopes of practice. Liam gets to work on a simulator head. This training program also allows students to learn skills to work with dentists and specialised dentists called orthodontists. What we're going to do now is we're going to take an impression on our patient Brenda. As expected, Sharman makes her impression quickly and efficiently. But what sort of impression is Liam going to make? Alright, so you need to... <laughs> I think it's setting. <laughs> Once the plaster is poured and set, the difference between the two moulds becomes even more apparent. But Liam's not faced at all. Next stop on the tooth train is a catch up with dental therapist Reem Ibrahim. Good morning, Good morning. hello. Hi. Well, I trained at AUT, Upper Ring Campus, um, for three years. So I worked two days a week in a private dental uh, clinic, and then I worked three days a week here at Ponce Intermediate Children's Community Clinic. We've also got diagnostic vans that uh, travel to schools, and we examine and carry out preventative work on the vans. So I wanted something sort of hands-on, and this seemed like the perfect choice, and it really is. Yeah. I'm Liam. How are you, Liam? I'm Rebecca. Oh, there are nice many career options in dentistry, and Rebecca's chosen to focus on raising oral health awareness through partnerships and education. So I trained as a dentist and worked as a general dental practitioner for about 20 years. Oh, okay. And I was interested in getting into teaching, and 
So an opening came up at AUT University, and yep. I was one of the senior lecturers there, and eventually co-leader of the program for the Bachelor of Oral Health. And I'm very much still interested in education, and so that's a big part of what I do here. Rebecca gives Liam a glimpse of an educational DVD that they're using in schools. Yeah, I can really see how they appeal to kids. Here at Westmere Primary, the Year 2 pupils have been watching the Dr. Rabbit DVD. I'm here outside the Tooth Clinic with Drs. Rabbit and Brushwell. But little do they know, they're about to meet the real rabbit in the form of oral health student Vith and his fellow student Haley, assisted by Liam. That's right, teeth, give me a big smile. Do you know who the special guest might be? Here's Dr. Rabbit. <laughs> the fun and games have a serious purpose as Haley challenges the kids to a game of word find. Okay, so Liam will say the first question. So what do we use to look after our teeth? Um, you use toothbrush. The children are soon into the swing of things. So we know that in New Zealand, 65% of the population brushes their teeth twice a day. So that means that there's a good percentage that still doesn't. So if we can just bring that up to 99% or 100%, wouldn't that be amazing? And that's, that's what my role's about, is just finding ways to do that. 